Hey, it's Aurelius. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how you can create your very own website from scratch without a single line of code and you don't need any background technical skills. All you have to do is enter your brand name and a little bit of a description about your business and simply click on create a website. And in seconds, AI will build your website just like this one right here. And it really doesn't matter what kind of website you're trying to build, such as a personal website, company, business, whether you're an accountant, a law firm, or someone who simply just wants to show their portfolio online. I'm gonna show you how to do it all in this video, so stay tuned. Okay, I know you're strapped for time, which is why I've thought about what's the fastest, easiest way to get a website up and running for whatever purpose it is. It could be to generate leads and or to generate sales too. Whatever it may be, this is the only solution you need and the only platform in other words. It's called Hostinger. It's a web hosting company. So they house your website or your files. And so people can type in your domain name, www, whatever it is, .com or whatever extension it is and view your website and see what you have to offer. Hosting has a built-in AI website builder that looks like this when you first start it. All you need to do as shown before is enter your brand name, give it a bit of a description so that you're feeding the AI and giving it some context on what your business is about and simply click on create a website. We'll get back to that, but first of all, you need to get your web hosting plan up and running. If you use the link in the description box below, you'll land on this page and there's a special deal if you do use my coupon code so click on claim deal and there are a couple of plans here to choose from if you're a business looking to take it seriously i do highly recommend a business plan as opposed to the premium plan because not only are you able to build up to 50 different websites under the one account for the same subscription but it can accommodate to more traffic bandwidth giving you up to 100,000 visits monthly you're given more storage space as well 100 mailboxes and you get daily on-demand backups giving you peace of mind that all of your website files and of course your website is all backed up clicking on choose plan will take you to the checkout choose your plan period whether that's on a monthly basis or 48 months at a time of course the more months that you go with the more you'll save where it says have a coupon code simply enter the coupon code Aurelius and then click on apply you'll save further that way continue with the checkout process and then once your account's set up you want to go to the AI website builder it should take you there anyway but this is where you start with you want to start with your brand name so if it's going to be about your personal brand your portfolio whatever it may be you want to enter your name here describe what you do what you offer maybe how you started it all but the more detailed you are the better the output will be in terms of not only what's on there but also the relevant images that may be picked up but this all just matters and if you do want to find like an indicator score you can see right here great description you're given up to 700 characters to work with anyway once you click on create a website it should do the processing for you take no longer than 30 seconds and here's the generated landing page you can see that it's come up with the top navigation including the logo in this case it's just text but all of this can be customized later on which i'll show you how it's all done you can see the header and the headline with the subtitle and some call to action buttons and some features too in addition it does find any relevant stock videos or images and of course all of these can be replaced with your own images continuing down the bottom you can see some more sections got a testimonial section here with a footer and social icons and buttons it's all mobile friendly so rest assured if someone does view your website on mobile they can view it all optimally on the right side you'll see the color palette and the schemes that to choose from so if you want to change the color scheme for instance let's take a look at this red one it will change colors in certain areas like the accent colors and the buttons let's take a look at another example so this olive color with a green really depends on what look you're going for but again we can customize this fully in its advanced editor which we'll go to in a sec another thing to note is if you don't like what the ai has generated you can always regenerate it by clicking on create again otherwise if you're happy with the overall layout and the text and what it's done click on continue and here we are in the advanced editor right off the bat you can edit anything you see and starting with the headline right there 
this is a heading. And of course, you need to kind of know what you want to put on your website. You don't want to publish your website based on what the AI has produced. But to run through some of its functions, tools and options with you on the left, you can see that you can add different elements. So if you want to add more text, like text boxes and all that, we can drag where we want it, let's say right here, and then there's a new text box. Otherwise, you can simply click once on any of the elements. For example, if we are wanting to add a YouTube video somewhere and embed it, we can click on YouTube video right here and then edit the video and its URL so that it actually puts the right video that you want shown. On the left, you got pages and navigation. So if you do want to add additional pages, such as something about uh, your offers, maybe a products page, you can do so as well. This is also the place where you can actually edit individual pages. If you go to the services page, for instance, this is the services page specifically, that you can start editing. Same goes for the about page and contact page that it's also built. As an alternate way to switch between pages, you can simply click on the navigation, which makes it super simple. Anything that has to do with your website styles, colors, sizes, and the font, you can simply go to website styles. And as you can see, changing the colors as easy as selecting which one, and then going to fonts, choosing the combination that you want. We've got buttons as well, whether you want it rounded, squared, or somewhat rounded here. If you're wanting the assistance of AI, such as it's AI writing assistant, or you want to generate some images, all provided here. Hosting it also has the ability to start your own store, such as an e-commerce store, similar to what you see on Shopify. So clicking on add store will grant you that ability to add a store all built in to your website. Some other functionalities, if you click on more options right here, you've got starting a blog, create appointment systems. You can handle all your form submissions here, check out your analytics and optimize your website for SEO. But going back to the actual customization of your website, which is one of the important parts. First of all, with this landing page, it's not the best. It's not what I would post because landing pages do have a formula, right? And you wanna obviously convert those eyeballs, those viewers into actual leads or customers. And for that, I usually follow a system or a framework based on Donald Miller's book called Building a Story Brand. If you haven't read it yet, I highly recommend you get onto this, especially if you're in the space of online business, you're trying to market your business all about sales. So I highly recommend that you grab this book to get a better understanding. Now, once you've kind of read that, you don't have to read it like right now, but I'm just suggesting that it's a good idea to actually have some background knowledge of what it all means and how it works. And then based on his story brand framework, what you can do is use an LLM like ChatGPT, of course, or Claude, whatever is your preference, and then write a prompt. And my prompt is this right here, based on Donald Miller's story brand framework, could you write a landing page for my business? And then I explain what my business is, pretty much what I had on the AI website builder at Hostinger when I was building the website. And because ChatGPT has knowledge of Donald Miller's story brand framework, it knows what it's all about. Then structures your landing page in this way with the headline. It's essentially character plus the problem. And you've got a sub headline, the problem, meet the guide and the plan or how you work. And finally, we've got a call to action, what success looks like and a secondary CTA. All this can then be brought back to your landing page which is going to save you a heap of time. Of course, if you do want to fine tune this and give it more context on what you actually want on the copy, then feel free to do that and ask further. But because this is for demonstration purposes, I thought I'd just fast track this and just show you what it can output based on Donald Miller's story brand framework. So with this, what you do is you copy and paste the headline, so build your business without burning out. I'm not going to show you every single bit that I'm pasting in and what I'm adding, but just the core of how hosting a work, I'd add those particular sections. But starting with the headline, as simple as copying it right there, build your business without burning out. I also want to show you what uh, these different areas are and where to actually put them because it may not make sense to you, but because I've done this before and I actually followed this framework for many of the websites that 
I've built in the past. I'm quite familiar with it all. So these are the two different things that you put. Don't worry about the CTA or the call to action buttons yet. Scrolling down back to the sub headline, you've got, you don't need a complicated plan <laughs> to build momentum. Uh, this could be added just below. So somewhere underneath here, you want to add some text. I could very well just use uh, this text here because I'm not needing any of these other ones. So we can delete that, delete that, delete this. I will make this uh, bigger. And this also demonstrates the ease of editing using hosting as a website builder. I just realized that I copied one line of it, but here's the full text and I'll just delete this at the same time because what we can do now is edit the text. I'll make this bigger. Let's say about font size 24. I could, in addition, make it bold if I want to, depending how I want it to look, but that does not quite look good. And make it a little narrower like so, and then position it. And you can see exactly what I'm doing. I'm just using my mouse or trackpad in this case to drag and drop things where I want it. Furthermore, of course, you can change the actual font style, but before before you do that, I would go to website styles and make sure I change the main font so that you're not having to individually change the different text boxes that you see on the website. By using website styles, you change it globally. Going back to ChatGBT, we are at the problem section and we don't necessarily copy and paste this, but we give it maybe a new uh, sub headline and then everything inside. So I could very well just delete this and right here, this is how you can adjust different sections and its height. Same goes for the header. This looks quite tall, so I can move that there, move that here and move the buttons here for now. I'm going to paste in that text I just copied right there. And for the sub headline, you could very well put whatever you want. I'm just going to put, are you feeling overwhelmed? And then down the bottom, you got, got ideas, horses bookmark, po podcasts playing, so on and so forth. And then you've got these bulleted points. You could have these as bulleted points on your website, or you could have them as different sections, kind of like this. I'll delete this, this, and you can be as creative as you want with those kind of boxes. But for now, what I'm going to do is just make boxes that look something like this. I've skipped a little bit ahead just so I can give you an idea of this particular section, right, with the problem. And the problem is they're not sure where to start. So I found a relevant image uh, based on a website called Unsplash. Unsplash allows you to download free stock uh, photos, kind of like what you see all here. I search for overwhelm. Here are the images that I found and I downloaded the ones that are relevant. And then I resize it so that it matches the white box behind. And I want to show you how to add one more. So in order to do that, you simply click on add element and then you find image and then you place it where you want it. And in this case, I'm just gonna kind of drag and use the resize option there. And then we can click on edit image and we can click on replace image with the one that you want. And then there it is. We'll click on select once that's uploaded. And there we go. So this is what it currently looks like. And then we'll adjust the section there. At this point, you would rinse and repeat, add different sections, add different blocks, change the sizes as you'd like. This is looking good so far. And I'd say if you give yourself a day just to sit down, focus, optimize your copy, it will look fantastic and you'll have a website up and running for people to see. Continuing on, if you do want to add a new section, let's say underneath this next section, you can always click on add section. But if you want to kind of shortcut it, you can always duplicate a particular section by clicking once click on duplicate, and then you'll see that it's made a copy. And then from here, you can make those adjustments. But if you want a completely different section, we can click on add section, and then you'll see some pre-made sections ready here based on the particular theme, whether that's uh, main or an about related section or block. Then you've got services, product categories, a contact form, you've got maps as well. You can integrate testimonials, projects that you've worked on, resume, images, gallery, social icons, Instagram feed, maybe a video that you want to embed, and even legal docs like a privacy policy page, refund policy terms and conditions too. Anything store related, you can click on online store and then click once to add pre-made blocks so that you can feature right on your page 
those products that you want to feature. On that note, if you do want to start selling products and services, you can always click on add store, click on add store once more, and then they will automatically add that store page for you, as you can see right there and a little bag icon for people to basically check out. These are all placeholders, of course. All you need to do to start managing your store is click back on that cart, and then we can click on products to start editing those placeholder products, or of course, add our own products. It really is as simple as adding a new product here, choosing the format, whether it's physical or a digital or a service. Clicking on digital will bring up all these details. And one of its unique features is this AI product generator. So all you need to do is upload an image of your product. It will detect and as best as it can, what that product is, and then pre-fill the title, subtitle, and a bit of description about that product so that you're not having to sit there and type product copy all day long. I wouldn't use it right off the bat, of course, but it's a good starting point. But I highly recommend you follow the checklist in order to set up your store properly, such as your payment methods and a few other details. What I recommend you do is connect a domain name. And as you saw, when you signed up, you do get a free domain registration. So make sure you connect your domain name by clicking on change domain. Once that's done, you can go live by clicking on go live and that will be basically published online. So as you saw, really quick, simple and straightforward, no technical skills required, not even one bit of code required. And this is what I wish I had when I started building websites. And in fact, back in the days, that's when what I actually did. I started with web designing and I offered that as a service to clients. But now these days today, you can very well use this AI website builder hosting it to build your website. By using the AI website builder in combination with any LLMs such as ChatGPT and the strategy that I shared with you by using Donald Miller's story brand framework, you can pretty much write copy in an instant. That way you're not left with the guesswork on what should I add on the header? What should I add in the features box? What else should I put on my website? By using a framework, just keep it simple so that you know exactly what to put on your website. So if you want to get your website up and running, and realistically, I can say if you use hosting as AI website builder, you can get it up and running by the end of today. I'll link it up in the description box below once more and that coupon code Aurelius so that you can save further. Thanks so much for watching and looking forward to sharing the next tutorial with you.